back to Bank with Ma. Grab your favorite cake and your favorite flowers thing. We're going to show you how to make these delicious cake We have to take our carrot cake and we have to take our cream cheese frosting and we gotta mix them up in the bowl. So this is why we're wearing gloves. So we have nice clean hands. We're just gonna start by grabbing some of our carrot cake with our hands and crumpling it right into the bowl. We're taking our cream cheese frosting. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna start with a little bit. We can always add more if we need it. Mix this together with our hands. See how I'm mixing with my hands? Are you looking? Mm -hmm. See, I put my hand in and I squeeze. 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 All right, go ahead. Squeeze. Give it a shot. Squeeze. Brad, want to get your hands in there? Keep mixing your cake until it has a smooth consistency. Experiment with the ratio of cake to frosting until your cake pops hold together nicely, without cracking or crumbling, or without being too soft or mushy. We are warming them in and putting them in the trays. If you don't have these, you can use something else that's similar. We'll put some of that in there. Mm -hmm. After the boys had a go at packing the egg trays, I followed behind, making sure we had flat bottoms, clean edges, and the cake was pressed in firmly without any air pockets. We're going to pop this in the freezer for 10 minutes. That looks like a meatball. We're rolling out the rest of our cake pop into circles. Dipping your sticks into white chocolate helps glue the cake pop, making it less likely for them to fall off the sticks later. Then we popped out our slightly firmed up cake eggs out of their molds and gently added our sticks to those. We tried using large popsicle sticks. I was hoping that the larger surface area would be easier for the boys to handle and also hold better to our very large cake balls. However, as we were adding them in, our cake pops just kept cracking. So I dug up some skewers from a different project and we ended up using those instead. Pop these in the freezer for 20 minutes. For 24 large cake pops, we have two bags of white chocolate melters and we chose three different colors for decorating. We also whipped out our rainbow sprinkles and we dyed some coconut green. I warmed up each of our colors in baggies to make it easier for the boys to handle. I chose a deep glass that was slightly wider than our cake pops for dipping. In intervals, I microwaved enough white chocolate to fully submerge our cake pops until it was soft and smooth. Then, we simply squeeze a layer of each color on top of our white chocolate. For a striped effect, dip your pop straight in and then pull it straight out, wiping off any excess chocolate at the end. For a swirled effect, repeat the same process, dipping your pop straight in, but then swirling just before you start to pull your cake out of the chocolate. Simply continue adding more white chocolate on top as it runs low, add colors before you dip, and microwave as needed to keep your chocolate nice and soft. Okay, this is how I do it. Dip it in? Uh-huh. Okay, straight out. Good job. Nice I dip it in and I just roll it. Should I put this one in grass? Sure. In fact, the grass bottom seem to work out nicely. Swirl. Swirl. Perfect. Beautiful. Extra off. Go ahead and dip it in the grass. 
good job. Christy Roo. Okay, good, 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 good. Stop licking. It's not okay to lick. Want yellow in there too, or just pink and blue? Um, and that. And yellow? Mm hmm. Okay, rainbow? Rainbow. Stripe or swirl? Stripe. Okay, so we're gonna dip it in straight. Straight. Give it a little bend and pull it out straight. Wow, good job, Bran. Yum.